Okay, hi, this is um, Desktaper. I will be um, making a commentary on a game by um, Joker as elves. Um, his ally is Blackout as Mordor, and they're against um, elves, um, 36 squared, and Mordor. Um, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Um, it's a mirror. Um, elves against Mordor, against Mordor, against elves. Um, Everyone's starting two resource buildings. Um, then el elves over here is starting with a barracks. Um, Mordor's starting with an orc rush. Um, starting with an economy start, four resource buildings, and um, so is Mordor. He's starting in the box, which I, as far as I know, was the first person to really do. I did them more in one versus one than two versus two, though. But I don't know. Um, barracks, of course. There's a beacon. I don't know why. Now he's making orcs. Um, it may be with the four slaughterhouses that he's planning on making an early Nazgul. I don't know. We'll see. Golem. That's pretty awesome. They have golem on. <laughs> And here's a barracks, pretty standard, um, orc spam, that's what you're supposed to do as Mordor, especially against elves, um, archer start, um, two orc pits, um, normally with four slaughterhouses you'd start with two orc pits and then another orc pit or else a palace or something, but he, it looks like he's going with a fifth slaughterhouse, he's, he's going for a very strong economy. Um, with that, um, most, pretty much all players, um, you should pretty much always go for a very early Nazgul or something if you're going with five slaughterhouses right away. Um, and he's just keeping his orc there. I don't, I don't know why he wouldn't just send it out right away. Um, this Mordor's doing the right thing, rushing right away. Um, now he's keeping that one back. Oh, he saw, he saw the archer. He just figured the archer would run to the other side and kill this orc, so he's waiting a little bit. He's gonna send them together, um, looks like. And now, now he's sending them out, splitting them up though, that's a good idea, so it's harder to defend um, one over here and, and then one out here. Um, he has an archer to defend against them. Um, this archer, it might, is it, it's probably going to support the orcs. Go with them so that they don't die and can harass. Waited for a lot of orcs before he's sending them out. Um, suppose that's not a bad move, but um, normally what I'd do is just keep sending them, split them up, send them all over the place, destroy some trees. But um, it's really working here because Elves doesn't have any units in his base right now. Um, just give him a false sense of security and then send a ton of units in. It's working this time at least. Um, elves is foolishly sending all of his units to help Mordor here, um, yeah, and looks like Mordor's going to get this tree, um, yeah, probably gonna get this tree too, oh, I'm just going for the barracks, um, not necessarily a good idea since he already has two barracks, better just to get his trees and get his command point low, um, that will also keep him from getting units, um, and it'll keep his economy weaker. I think going for two more trees is better than the barracks when he has two. If he only had one, getting the barracks would be huge, though. But it'll still have a barracks, so it's not that big of a deal. Lancers, that's um, great against in this matchup against another elf and a Mordor. Because um, um, Mordor doesn't have pikes yet, so he can't really stop them. Unless he gets Nazgul, but they aren't really that great at stopping harassment anyway from Lancers. And Elves, they're um, weak with pikes, so yeah. Mortars um, sending his units out. Pretty much owning this elf. Oh, getting a builder. That's a huge loss when you've already lost a lot of your trees. Losing a builder, too, makes it harder to rebuild. And yeah. Mordor um, has switched his harassment to, Mor um, to the other Mordor now, it looks like. Um, probably because Elves has Lancers now. But yeah, um, not a bad move. 
since he doesn't have pikes or Nazgul yet to counter the lancers. But um, orcs or lancers really aren't that great at stopping orcs' def uh, aggressive or uh, harassment. Um, if you just like keep them in groups or even split them up, it your the lancers can't do everything unless you have. He does have two battalions. That's probably enough to defend against an orc spam. But um, if he kept harassing elves, he could at least keep the lancers on defense so they can't harass. But um, yeah, whatever. Looks like he's going to get these archers. That's a really big loss. Losing archers are really good. And he got the lancer away at level two. That's great. They'll revive and definitely worth crushing there. Um, Mordor's got quite a uh, pretty big economy here. Um, they, they just haven't harassed him enough. They've been focusing too much on elves, um, so Mordor's getting pretty strong. But they, they are starting to harass him. Orcs are getting the slaughterhouse. Um, they'll probably get it without dying, um, or before they die. Um, this slaughterhouse is going down. Um, just keep sending orcs over there. Um, a lancer or two should be running around out here to get these slaughterhouses. Um, yeah. He's st sending his units to defend Mordor now, which is a good idea since he doesn't really have much to defend two trees. That's not really that big of a deal. Um, <clears throat> one thing that both of these elf players probably should do is um, make a few trees in their allies' bases. Um, both of them are being harassed, but neither Mordor player has been harassed real hard. So just um, put some of your own trees, and then they'll be a lot safer in your allies' base. Um, and then um, you'll probably keep them up longer, and you, your economy will be better, and it'll all be worth it. Better than keep continuously trying to replace trees in your own base. You want to do that too, but just having a few extra to support your um, the economy and your allies' base is worth it. I don't really get what this elf player is doing right now. He's, he's sending his these two archers out. No pikes by them. Um, he knows that elves, the other elves, has cavalry, and here's a Nazgul killing them. It's not very smart at all. Um, now, now he's suffering he's, the the consequences for it, losing the archers. Um, and you can't really afford to be losing them since he doesn't really have much of a base now. And here comes Mordor, he's probably going to take out the production buildings. Um, might might get a few of the trees too. Let's see. Corsairs. Um, with them. That's very good for harassment. The Nazgul. Oh, that that's this player that's the other player's Nazgul. Can't really stop this big army though. Yeah. He's pulling the archers back, good idea, since there aren't really any units here and they'll just die to the Nazgul, so. Oh, that's a good use of bomb to build that. Oh, I'll probably still lose this barracks. But it's a good use to get rid of these units so they can't get some of the trees down and stuff too. Well, no, maybe he won't get it. Well, we'll see. Um, here's Mordor's harassing here. Elves. Um, he, Elves is doing a pretty okay job with defense, keeping some trees up. Mordor's helping him with defense and some units. Corsair's defending. Well, that's... They're not as effective at defense as harass. You know, I think um, what Mordor here should be doing right now is harassing this Mordor. Um, and by harassing him, he can force this uh, the Mordor to pull his units back from elves to defend, and then. Um, elves will be able to keep their economy up that way, and Mordor will will get some buildings done in the process. It's not what he's doing though; he's just helping defend, which that works too. If you are have enough units to kill them, he didn't get the barracks, so that was a waste of some units. But he couldn't really see that bomb. Well. Um, it was Bombadil and stuff. He, he at least got him to use the power and stuff, so it wasn't too bad. <coughs> Who's Nazgul's this? Blackouts. Going to harass with it. That's good. Oh. I pretty much 
only use Nazgul for harassment when I'm playing as Mordor. Um, the only times I ever use it for killing units is um, for defense when they don't have pikes, or when I absolutely need them to use uh, use them for defense, or um, just like when there's a big group of archers or something, but only when there's absolutely no pikes, or um, when I absolutely need them for defense. Otherwise, always, always harassment. Because um, what I always think is that Nazgul's use um, to kill unit to kill other units will die, but if they're used for harassment, they'll usually be around all game, just about. Um, yeah. Selfs sending more units to help defend. He's only got two trees right now, I think. Oh no, I didn't see this. He's starting to get some more up. That's good for him. Of course, um, a, a couple Corsairs and a bunch of Orcs come over here and they're all gone again, probably. Or even just Nazgul. Ooh, that almost died there. Blackouts. He kept him alive, though. Now is the time when you want to retreat him away from those elves. Don't want the archers to deal too much damage to him. Oh, he's gonna try to get this. Um, losing that... Uh, slaughterhouse would be big because of the industry. And he's got blades, so he can get it down pretty easily. The orc pit loss won't be very big because he's got two more and it's not exactly early game now, it's more middle game and the orc spam isn't as necessary. He's getting attack trolls now. Um, a battle test patch, or this patch, um, attack trolls are pretty much only used for backdooring and, yeah, killing. Bladed Corsairs is good too, obviously. Yeah. They're pretty much a, the ultimate backdoor unit. He's got a big army. Looks like he's been defending for a while. He's just been saving up, and now he's finally sending them in. <coughs> My answer is, well, I'll kill those orcs. Ah, uh, the Nazgul are coming over to get the Lancers? Oh, they're running back. Um, okay. He wants to keep them away from this army, obviously. Yeah. Oh, he didn't use his attack rolls right. Sending them into fight units is not good on this patch, so they're dying and they cost a lot of money, so that wasn't worth it. Nazgul crushing archers. There should have been pikes in there. Oh, it looks like he killed the pikes first. Yeah. Um, Mordor comes in for the save and pretty much owns all these guys. Yeah. He, Elves hasn't been touched here for a long time, but he's not really getting that much expansion up, so. Ah, Mordor's going to build over here. Hmm. He's running out of area back here. Looks like um, this team's not harassing enough. There isn't much of any harassment from either team right now, though. It's pretty much just unit fighting. Um, there's definitely nothing wrong with fighting, but you always, always want to have at least like one or two units harassing even during this time. You can like sneak a Corsair in and kill some trees while this guy's busy um, with his archers over here. Um, that would definitely be worth it. Um, let's see how powers are going. Um, Mordor's Barrage. Um, land. That was probably a very good idea um, in this matchup. Um, both teams had one land with Mordor, and then now he, um, they've got control over the lands now. That'll slow down Eagles, though, obviously, but it's probably still worth it. This self player is way behind. He's not nearly at Eagles yet. Um, and with his amount of units, well, he's got quite a few now, so he might get eagles pretty soon here. But, um, hardly any pikes. That's not good. A couple cavalry could come in here and pretty much take out the whole army, just about. They'd probably die in the process, but it would be well worth it. Like, three cavalry could take out all these archers, just like that. Just tr trample right through the pikes. Or around them, preferably, but they could even go through them. like he's
putting all of his archers back here, being safe with them. Just making sure they don't die camping around. <coughs> Blighted Corsairs are going to die and they're level 2. I suppose that's not huge, huge loss because they're pretty easy to replace. But. <coughs> 